Hi, today I'm going to do a quick everyday brightening makeup. So just something that's simple and easy and will brighten up your skin and give you a nice wide-eyed, bushy-tailed look. I'm going to start by using Hello Flawless by Benefit. And this has um, been out for a while, but I've just got into it myself. I tested it out in my 10 times magnifying mirror, which I always use in harsh daylight. And um, not many foundations passed that test, but it really didn't stick in any of the pores, didn't emphasize the pores. Looked very, very natural, so I was, I was impressed with it. It's a very watery one, so you have to give it a little bit of a shake. It's a little bit like the consistency of um, Vitalumia Aqua and Estee Lauder's Invisible Blend. And for this reason, I probably would apply it with fingers because it's um, it just feels like a sort of liquid tint and just give it a massage in. This is one of the ivories. Um, there's a couple of different ivories. They just have different names next to them, sort of ivory, and one's got one name, and then there's another ivory called something different. So watch out for that. It can be a tiny bit confusing. So just massaging it, mainly where I need it. And this is their brightening formula. So it does sort of really lift any shadowy areas that you may have. It's factor 25, so it's a good everyday very natural everyday sort of foundation. Um, you can build it if you need a little bit more coverage. Initially it goes on extremely light and then you can go back in. Um, and I find that when you do go back in, it doesn't build up and start to look like makeup sitting on the skin. It really does blend in well. Before I do any concealing under my eyes, I'm going to do some blush and I'm going to use this Daniel Sandler waterproof blush, watercolour blush, sorry, which again is a liquid, so it, it'll it'll sit really well with this liquid foundation I've just used. This is charm number two. Pop it on the back of my hand and while the foundation is nice and dewy, it does have a dewy finish, this one actually, um, I'm just going to start to really blend that in. This comes with a brush, you can use a brush if you prefer. Um, I quite like using my fingers just because I feel like I can sort of feel my way with it, feel the textures sort of melting into each other. It's quite a tactile thing and I kind of like to feel it. This foundation has a more dewy finish than something like Vita Lumia Aqua or Invisible Blend, which both of those I think tend to be quite velvety finish. So this time of year I still wouldn't use powder with it because I'm quite combination but dehydrated but I think if you were oily you would probably need a little bit of powder but I mean I love the finish of it I think it's very very dewy but in a nice natural non-greasy way and with the blusher just keep adding a little bit more in terms of colours that brighten you up I think you can sort of tell straight away with the blusher if it's working for you or not you know, this sort of quite warm rose colour works on so many different skin tones, but you might need something brighter if you've got darker skin, just to really lift it. And just keep adding a little bit more until you feel like you've got enough of a pop of colour without looking like you're overly blushed, but just really, really natural. And these two textures, the two liquid sort of watery textures, I've left a very, very natural finish on the skin, which is really lovely. So I'm going to use my under eye concealer, my highlighting concealer, um, just around this area. You can use it a couple of other areas if you need to. And then blend in with sort of lots of patting, or you can use a brush. This is a really good way of giving you a nice open-eyed look, keeping it all nice and fresh under there, but without being too light. We don't want the kind of reverse panda white effect, which I just think doesn't look too great. So again, really smoothing, making sure there's all those edges are seamless between the concealer the foundation starting and the liquid blush. So next step is concealing. I'm going to use the Blemish Stick Treatment Concealer by Murad. And this is just for any actual spots that need covering. You want everything to look so natural in daylight with this makeup. So that when you're out in bright daylight, 
and people are right next to you. You can't really see any makeup on the skin, it just looks gorgeous. So next for eyes, I'm going to use this very light sort of lilac-y lavender pencil, which is called Beryl, it's by Chanel, it's from the Spring Collection. And um, when I first saw this, I thought such a nice alternative to a sort of light beigey colour for under the, in the waterline to really lift the eyes. And I think it's, it really takes all the yellow out of the whites of your eyes in such a great way. Very, very subtle. You almost sort of don't see it when it first goes on. But I find that it really does lift that yellowiness you can have in your eyes. You can see the difference on film, but it just starts to really brighten the look of the eyes. I'm also going to use it along the upper lash line. Just a little bit of light behind the lashes. Such a pretty colour. For dark skin tones, it wouldn't I wouldn't use it along the lash line on the top because it's gonna stand out too much, but it would still work on the waterline. Unless you want a nice light line, but it might just be a little bit it's not gonna be as natural looking. It'd be more of a statement. So before I finish the eye makeup, I'm going to curl my eyelashes, and this is essential if you want that really wide-eyed, bright look. So give them a really good curl, and add plenty of mascara. It's a nice natural day look, so I'm not gonna go overboard, but um, just to give that nice big eyes look. And also it'll help to frame on the bottom, having the nice dark lashes next to the lavender pencil. On to brows, I'm gonna use Smashbox Brow Tech To Go, and this is another one of the dual function. There's a few of them around um, that I've used recently. Now, because I want my eyes looking really wide open, the main place I'm going to put this is just at the high point. I'm gonna add a little bit more height there. It's like a, an eye lift, if you like, and it'll help to focus the brows on just on the high point here which again sort of lifts everything and the other side has got the little holding gel brushing them all up helps as well to brighten the look of the eyes and then if there are any little gaps once you've um, brushed them all up you can always just fill in any little gaps that you need to or lengthen or whatever, but just keep it really simple. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to use Benefit, and this is highbrow, but this is the glow version. So it's got a little bit of shimmer in it, since we haven't really got any shimmer yet in this look. I'm just gonna put that mainly underneath. So right underneath where I've just heightened the brow, I'm also gonna just put a little bit in the center there, of the lid. And just pat that, just for a little glow behind the lashes and a touch in the corner on top of my lavender pencil there. So on to lips and lipstick is really the thing that can brighten your face so much. Certain lipstick like maybe nudes that you usually use can create a great look but they can be quite draining. So if you are trying to get this lovely brightening effect to your face then um, you know, you can tell actually some lipsticks you put on and straight away you sort of look tired and you, then you find another colour you put on and your eyes suddenly sparkle and your skin looks so much brighter and alive and, and awake. Um, so maybe you've already found co a colour that works for you in that way. But if you haven't, something that I like to do and I think it's quite a good tip is to take maybe a very bright colour that you know, know suits you. Maybe it's not your everyday kind of colour but um, something like um, for me it would be this evening colour that I know works really well on me it's um, a, a Maybelline shade that's a very very bright red with an undertone of pink and I know when I put this full on in the evenings it sort of really brightens up my look so I'm going to use this just as a stain so underneath pop your really bright shade on the one that you know always makes your face appear much brighter and livelier. Okay, so if that's the colour that you know works for you, the bright colour, you'll know that the undertones are really, really good for you. And then take whichever is your regular nude shade, so when you want something that's really kind of pairs down the lips and gives you that very sort of monochrome look. For me, this is um, my sort of nude at the moment, and this is a Chanel one, it's actually discontinued, so 
can't really uh, recommend it. Uh, but it's a very sort of flat, almost slightly brownie beige, really. And then just pop that on over the top. And what you'll get is a kind of bright nude. That's the only way I can describe it. It's a nude with a, with a bit of oomph. And that bit of oomph is coming from a colour that you know already really suits you. You're just sort of toning it down. So for me, there are two shades that independently I would always use. One for a very, very nude, pared down look and one for a very bright look. But I think as a day look, um, com you know, putting those two tones together really, really brightens my face. But at the same time, it's kind of an easy in-between shade that isn't going to look too dramatic or too nothing. The last thing I need to do is just, I do need to apply a little bit of powder. Although I love the dewiness of this foundation, I did a bit of concealing on a couple of spots around my jawline and I will need to set that concealing a little bit so it lasts during the day. So anyway, that's that's the look today and um, just a really nice brightening everyday look, not too complicated and I hope you like it.